Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you 6 methods to fix a computer that can't find or connect to Wi-Fi, Windows 10 laptops and desktops. The first thing you have to do before we start with the methods is check that you have enabled the Wi-Fi option. So right click on your Wi-Fi icon and check if you have the Wi-Fi activated. The second tip is to not have the airplane mode enabled. With the airplane mode enabled, you won't be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. All right, so the first method we are going to try is restarting the Wi-Fi adapter. So we have to right click on the Wi-Fi icon and select open network and internet settings. In here, we have to click on change adapter options. Then we have to right click on Wi-Fi and select properties. Then we have to click on configure and select driver. In here, you have to click on disable device, click on yes, and now we have to click enable device. After performing this procedure, check if your connection has been reestablished. If not, let's go to the next method. So now we're gonna try running the network troubleshooter. To do it, just right click on the Wi-Fi icon and select troubleshoot problems. This way you will run the network troubleshooter and Windows will detect if there is any trouble in your connection. So first of all, you have to select the network adapter to diagnose. And as it says, if you are not sure, just select the last option on the list. It will be all network adapters. So click on next and then Windows will start to diagnose your internet connection. In my case, I'm not having any problems, but if you have any, Windows will automatically try to fix it. And if not, we'll try to recommend you what things you can do to fix it. So now we're gonna try to reset all of your network settings completely. To do it, we have to go again to the internet settings. And here we have to select this option that says network reset. As it says, this will remove, then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You may need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches, and your PC will be restarted. So here you have to click on reset now, and then you have to click on yes. I'm going to skip this because I don't have any problems whatsoever but in your case if you are still experiencing problems this can be your solution so after pressing the yes button be sure to wait for the process to be completed by allowing the system to restart your computer all right so right now what we are going to try is to restart the windows explorer so right click on the taskbar and open the task manager in here we just have to look for the Windows Explorer, this option right here, right click on it, click on restart. As you see, my computer went crazy for just a little bit, but now is everything back to normal. So if your connection has been reestablished, that's it. But if not, let's go to the next method. In this method, let's go again and open the task manager as we did before. Here we're going to go to services and here click below when it says open services. Here we have to look for DHCP client, this option right here. As you see here in this column it says status. So you have to be sure that in here it says running because if it says stop, you have to right click on it. Click on properties, be sure that the startup type is selected in automatic, then click on apply and then OK. Then we have to look for WLAN auto config. And as before, we have to be sure that this process is running as it is in my computer. But if it's not, you have to right click again and do the same process than before. Click on properties, select the startup type as automatic, then click on apply and then hit OK. And the last method is to forget your network connection, the one that is having trouble. So what you are going to do is open up the network connection list and the network connection that you are trying to connect to. I want you to right click it and select forget. 
This will basically make your computer forget that you've been ever connected to this particular network and it will erase any saved passwords that you have for this network. Then you can connect to it again as if it was the first time you'll put in your password and connect just like you normally would. And that was all for today, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you want to keep watching and learning from more videos, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.